clock right here. We're about to get started. Uh, if you've been here before, then you can just come back when the countdown clock hits zero. But if this is your very first lesson, then I got a couple things I wanna talk to you about. All right, so if you weren't here last week, don't worry, you didn't need to be. We're doing a brand new song this week. And if you haven't played piano before, don't worry, we're doing five different levels. You can definitely do level one. You are gonna need to click on the PDF button right over there though, download the PDF and print it out because that's all the music for all the different levels. Now, as you'll see in your PDF, in the upper right hand corner, it tells you what level that page is for. So on level one, you're gonna wanna have that level one page and then two and three and four and five, you can just ignore those. Just stay on level one for the entire lesson. You will wanna find the chart though that has all of the notes listed out with all the letters on it because that's what you're gonna use in order to play your piano along with me when I'm playing. So if we're playing Mary Had a Little Lamb, the track would go something like this. And as I'm playing it, I'll show you where all the notes are and where all the letters are, don't worry about that. But uh, then you're gonna play along with me when I'm playing the track. Now, uh, after we've done level one, I'll show you everything you need so you can practice the song throughout the week. Then we're gonna level up, and that looks like this. And now you can see we're on level two, right? So at level two then, it's gonna get a little bit more difficult, but each time the track plays, I want you to just play the track that you're on. So if you're on track one, if you're on level one, then each time, you know, we're doing our thing, we're going. Each time we start that, I'd want you to completely ignore the notes that we're playing and you just play your level. So you would play. because that's gonna work with, uh, the, the track's gonna work with your level every time we play it, no matter what level we're on. So we move on to level two, three, four, five. You just stay on the one that you're comfortable with. All right, so all of these lessons are completely interactive. That means we wanna hear from you right now. So go ahead and click on the chat button right over there. Put in your name, you don't have to put in a password, and then you'll be talking with all the other students who are logged in right now, as well as some of my assistants who can help you and answer some of your questions. If you've got a question though that you don't think they're gonna to know the answer to, and you wanna ask me personally, then type your question in the box below this video, and then you'll get your answer to your question directly from me. Now at the end of level five, we're gonna raffle off some prizes. These prizes change up every single week. If you're the winner of the prize, you need to let us know right away what prize it is that you want so we can send that out to you. You can tell my moderator, you can let us know it, mailbag at learnpianolive.com, email us there. Uh, you can fill out the contact form and let us know, but just tell us what prize you want so we can get that out to you. If you're not the prize winner, or if you wanna know how you can earn more points so you can be the prize winner, then just stay tuned after the lesson and I'll let you know. All right, you've been very patient. That's all I gotta say. It's time for the lesson. I hope you've got your PDF. You're ready to ask some questions. I'm ready to answer them. Let's go. Hello and welcome back to KidsLearnPianoLive.com. My name is Jamin and this is our mystery in-studio student. I guess we'll, we'll call you Ohio State or, or Buckeye or something like that. So Mr. or Mrs. or Miss Buckeye right here is going to learn the song for the first time uh, right along with you. But I think you'll do fine. This is one of the easier songs that we've ever done, which does not mean that you should learn the whole song by the end of the lesson. But it does mean that at least you'll be able to get the first little little chunk of, of notes. So uh, if you're an absolute beginner, this song is perfect for you. In the chat room, moderating is? Yo. Yo is yo. Tree one, uh, Nathan. Ballard, whatever you want to call him, uh, he will be there in the chat room speaking with you. And as always, very impatient, ready for us to move on with things already, is Koppel, our mascot penguin. So, Buck, Buckeye, go, go practice the song. You all at home hopefully have your PDF open, and it looks a little something like that. 
and uh, we're, we're ready to jump in. The first note that you need is an E. So in order to find an E, you're just going to take any group of two black notes, like those would work right there, or those would work right there. Those would not work. That's a group of three black notes. You don't want that. You want a group of two black notes, so go ahead and try to find a group of two. Take the top note of those, so one, the one on the right, and then just drag it up a little bit, and you'll always land on an E. So you can just use that note right there as your first note. And as you can see here on your chart, um, it kind of goes from that E, that's that first note, down a little bit and then down a little bit. So we're just going to go from this E, down one, and then down one. And then right after that, after you get to that one, you're going to go up one and then up one, just like that. So we're going to go from this E that we started on, we're going to go down one, then down one, and then we're going to go up one, and then we're going to go up one, and then just play that two more times, just like that. So we've got that note, down one, down one, up one, up one, same note, same note. So uh, let's try that with the track. Here we go. And a two, and a one, two, ready, go. That one, down one, down one, up one, up, same note, same note. All right, cool. So that's pretty fast, but uh, hopefully you can at least get those first few notes, even if you don't have it with the track yet at that speed, hopefully you can get uh, th those notes down. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to this, this next set. You had three E's all in a row right there. So we had E, E, E. Now we're going to go down one note and play those exact same pattern, three of those all in a row. So we got that chunk of three, and we've got that chunk of three right there. So we've got E, E, E. And then we move down and we got D, D, D. And then this set of three right here starts on an E, but it's going to go up two notes from this one, skip over this note right here. We're going to play this one twice. So the last set of three has like two different notes in it. It's got an E, it's got a couple G's in it. But then once you have that down, it's pretty much smooth sailing from then on because this is all the same exact thing as the first line. So if you got down the first line, you already have the third line down. You just have to add one E to the end for the word it's. We've got two Ds, and then play the first three notes of the song, E and D and C, like that. So may, the, from the third line, it would go, Mary had a little lamb, it's fleece was white as snow. There you go. Let's try this thing with the track. Like I said, the track is really, really fast. So uh, if you can just get the first couple little notes in there, uh, then keep practicing without the track. Add the tra track back in a couple times without the track, once with the track, a couple times without the track. Eventually, you'll speed it up and you'll be able to, to play along with the track. But here we go. Get the first couple notes. And one, two, ready. Go. Man, three, add, um, three of the E's, and we got three of the D's, and this next one's the one that's all broken up, it's E and then two G's, then the beginning part again, man, three, add, um, lit, do, lamb, and then here's the last line, please, was, go. That's the whole entire song. Uh, maybe if you can get those first few notes in there, uh, these guys right up here, Mary had. Again, those are the same as White as Snow down here. So um, even if you are totally messing up, it's probably going to be somewhere like in this range right in here. So this will be our last time through. Uh, real quick though, uh, if you get lost in this section right in, in here, that's totally normal. Just try to pick up the last three notes, white as snow, same exact, same exact thing as Mary had. So anyway, a little hint for the end of the song in case you mess up in the middle. On your mark, get set and last time through. Two, and a one, two, ready, go. Man. got an E with two G's, then the beginning part again, man, re, had, up, lit, now this is the tricky part, but we have the last three notes right here, white, and snow. There you go.
there you go. Uh, so that's the whole song. Uh, and if uh, that seems extremely tough and stressful for you, then a good news. It's time to relax, sit back, join us in the Kids Learn Piano Live Theater as Kloppel shows us um, uh, something that a couple of the students from here are working on. Check this out. So that's something that uh, Nathan and Dalton have been working on. Nathan, can you can you tell me a little bit about this? How are you making these beats? Um, well, we're using this uh, programming website called Scratch. Yes. And so it's mainly used for programming, but then right. like you can play sounds on that. But then we realized we could like combine songs on it, and so that's how we started this. That is pretty. So you are you're creating beats in something that's made for like. So you're supposed to like make animations and stuff, but you decided to just use it to make music. Yeah. You're incredible. That's awesome. Cool. Let's level up. Transitioning to level two. This may be confusing to level one students, so please continue to practice the level one version or visit learnpianolive.com slash level two for a detailed explanation on how to level up. I've used Scratch before. That is that has got to be incredibly tough to do. Nice job, guys. Um, all right, so this is level two. This is where we're just going to use um, all the exact same notes that we already played on uh, level one, but now we're putting them on the official lines and spaces. This is starting to get a little bit pro here, uh, where we use the treble clef, which is that thing right there, to graph out these notes so you don't have to just have all of the, the letters inside of the notes. Now, I have given you the letters inside of the notes on this uh, level. So we, we do still have the E written in for the E, and we have D written in for the D. But anyway, the idea is that you start to get familiar with what position these notes are in, so that when the letters aren't there, you'll still know this bottom line right here on the treble clef is always going to be an E. Even if it, the E isn't written in, it's always going to be an E. So you're going to play that note, and then uh, from there, you can just see it goes down one notch. That one's on a line. This one's on a space right here, uh, which means there's no line cutting through the middle of it, uh, like there is for this one and for this one. Those are all on lines. These guys are on spaces because there's no line cutting through the middle of it. It's on a space. So uh, anyway, the ones that are on the spaces are Ds, and uh, I think that's really all you have to worry about. If you're on Kloppel Academy level two, um, I believe you've already seen all the stuff that is in this uh, this song here. So uh, good news. If you're if you're in Kloppel Academy, you're you're way ahead of the game here, and you should be able to play this with not much issue at all. So let's jump in before Kloppel uh, gets too bored, and uh, we'll try this a few times. If you're on level one, just play your version right along with us. One, two, ready, go. Man. The second line, me, re, add, a, little, lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And usually this is the part where I tell you about the more complicated parts of the song, but there aren't more complicated parts of the song, so we're just going to run this as many times as we can until Kloppel jumps in. Here we go. Get ready. And one, two, ready, go. Now the 
second line. Four E's on a row. And fleece was white as hang on to that C. At the end, that one is a whole note right there, so that's for all four beats. And uh, let's go again. Level one, people. Again, play your version right along with us. Get all the notes you can. Don't worry about the rest. And here we go. And here comes the second line. Even if you're getting lost right here in this section, get ready for those last three notes. You know them. It's an E and a D and a C. Right here. White as snow. And it looks like we still have time to go. Ah! Okay. He heard me talking. Oh, I'm just, I'm not supposed to talk about it. I'm supposed to just wink at you. And you'll know that means we have a lot more time, so he doesn't hear me. Sorry. All right, here we go. Last time through. And a one, two, ready, go. The last line, the second line. Four E's on a row. Get ready. Here's the last three notes. And E, D, C. There you go. Well, that's the end of level two, so that means it's time for mailbag. If you'd like to win an extra 750 points by being the mailbag winner, just fill out the survey at the end of the lesson or send us a message anytime during the week using the contact button at the top of the page. This week is from Josie Q who says, why do they call it middle C when it's not even in the middle of the piano? Jos I'm sorry, Josie Q. Josie, I'm sorry, I missed your, your last initial there. It was written right there, I read it. Anyway. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is a question that every pianist has, and only pianists have. Actually, nobody else in the world, um, violinists, guitarists, they all understand why it's called middle C, even though it's not in the middle of the piano, because uh, they don't care about the piano. Um, so here's the answer. Um, you're right, the middle of the piano is like right in this range right here, and we call this middle C because if you take a look at uh, the treble clef and the bass clef uh, being played together at the same time, this one right here is middle C. If it was in the bass clef, it would be written right here middle C. Those are the same exact note. It is written in the middle between the treble clef and the bass clef. That's why it's middle C, because between the two clefs and uh, we, it, when we play piano, we're like, but it's not in the middle of the piano. But on a lot of instruments, uh, like if you're playing violin or something like that, like that's going to be way down at the bottom. If we can zoom back out here for a second, you'll see like the range of the violin is like that. And so that the like, middle C is not anywhere near the middle of their instrument. It's way, way down at the bottom. But if you play like bass guitar or something like that, your range is like that right there. And so like the middle C is like way, way high on your instrument. But because ours is so large, then it's almost in the middle. But you're right, it's not in the middle of the piano. Let's level up. Transitioning to level three. This may be confusing to level one and two students. Please continue to practice your own level or visit learnpianolive.com slash level three to understand how this level works. All right, so here we are on level three. Uh, this is all the exact same notes as uh, level two, except now we're starting to add in just a little bit of left hand, uh, just to kind of start to get used to uh, playing two hands at the same time. We're not going to give you too many notes. In fact, we're only going to give you six notes. We're going to play a C right there, and a G right there, and a C right there. And again, those notes are written, written in for you. If you squint and look, they're really tiny letters. The letters are written in. But again, I want you to get used to these notes uh, just by looking at it and knowing uh, the lines lines in the spaces and knowing what the letters are uh, so that eventually uh, you can read music that doesn't have the, the notes written in. And as you can see, in the right hand, we've already taken all the letters out. These guys have none of the letters written in for you. But uh, they're all going to be the same exact thing. So if you could play level one and two, then you're set on the right hand. No worries. You just need to make sure that this C right here gets lined up with meh. So we want to have meh. The C down here, an E right here, meh. And then Rehad a little lamb is all without any more uh, left hand notes. It's just gonna you're gonna hang on to this one all the way through about there. It's a whole note. If you're in uh, Clavel Academy, I believe level one even is dealing with some whole notes. Um, 
then uh, you're already familiar with the idea that that thing lasts for all four of those beats. And then this is a whole rest, which I don't think you'd uh, run into until Clopple Academy level <laughs> two. Uh, but uh, that's going to last for that whole measure right there. So you're not going to play any left hand at all for that whole measure during Little Lamb. But then we got a G that lines up with Lit, and then a C that lines up with the next Lit. So together, that would be Meh, Re, Had, uh, and that left hand's holding out that whole enti entire time. And then we have Lit, Till, Lamb with no left hand at all. And then on the next Lit, we have G, Lit, Till, Lamb, and that holds up for that whole time. And then Lit, Till, Lamb, we're back down to that C. And now we're on the second line. Again, this one's going to line up with that. We got no left hand during that. The G lines up with that guy, and the C lines up with that guy. Let's try some of that with the track. If you're on level one or two, just play your version right along with us. Here we go. And a one, two, ready, go. song and that's pretty much how that goes so uh, let's go one more time through this and then we will check in with Buck I believe is, is what we're calling him or her which is terrible if it's a her Buck he Buck guy I don't know anyway here we go one and two bucket bucket that's not right Man. There you go. That, that's how the whole thing goes. So, uh, Buck or Bucket, uh, come, on, come on over. You told me ahead of time that uh, you could hear um, right there. Can you still hear? Yes. All right. Well, then, here we go. Uh, are you on level one or two or three so far? Level two. Let me go back to level two for you. You can either play along with Bucket uh, or Buck, and uh, or you can just watch him or her do his or her best. Oh my goodness. Here we go. And a two, and a one, two, ready, go. That was only one note off. Fantastic. Fantastic work. So uh, did you catch where that was? Did you, did you notice where your mistake was? No. All right. So you had, we need to have four E's all in a row for its. You went down for its. You went little lamb its. So just stay on, on that E one for one more note, and you'll have the whole entire thing. Maybe even time to add in a little bit of left hand or something like that. All right. Well, this is a part of the, the lesson where you're supposed to um, point at them and, I guess, mimic. Let's level up, only without saying anything. Ready? And go. Let's level up. All right, cool, yeah. Transitioning to level four. This may be unsettling to lower levels. Please continue to practice your own level, or visit learnpianolive.com slash level four for an in-depth explanation on how to conquer this level. Good old bucket. Um, all right, so this is level four. This is where, uh, really, we add in a whole ton of notes, and I give you the options to add in even more. Uh, first, let's talk about the, these things up here. Of course, if I'm going too fast for you and you want to try level four, uh, you can always visit learnpianolive.com slash level four, and I'll explain that in a, a better detail. So I'll go slower. But uh, basically, during this C section, all the way up until you hit that G, uh, you can add in any notes from the C chord. 
you go to the next page, uh, then it'll tell you the C chord is any Cs or Es or Gs. So that's what that symbol means there up at the top. Uh, that C means you can add in Cs and Es and Gs all you want right there. During the G, that whole section, you can add in any notes from the G chord, the G chord being a G and a B and a D. So add in any Gs, any Bs, any Ds, anywhere you want on the whole entire piano during that section if you want to uh, add in some more notes and make this thing more complicated. But if you take a look at the left hand, it's already pretty complicated. This thing right here is going to be a C, and it's going to go down to a G, and it's going to back up to a C, and it's going to go down back down to a G. Now, uh, obviously, I skipped over some notes. These guys right here are all the same. So these guys go in between each of the other things. So we're going to go C down to a G, back up to a C, down to a G, C, G, back and forth like that. And in between each of those, we have these orange and purple notes, which are E and G. So we have C, the in-between thing, G, the in-between thing, C, the in-between thing, G, the in-between thing, C, the in-between thing. So that's kind of the idea why you're playing Uh, now, that does change right here. We're going to go back and forth between um, a G and a B. And these guys change from the orange and purple to the yellow and red, which are the D and the F right here. So we're going to go. That's that section. And then this is the famous walk up that we always do at Kids Learn Piano Live right here. We got a C down to G, walk it up to an A, walk it up to a B. Sounds pretty cool. So that whole entire first line, if you only play the notes that are written and don't add in any other notes from the chords that I told you you could add in if you want, we'd have Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. And then the second line is pretty much the same thing. All this stuff right here is going to be the same as that. And then right here is almost the same thing as the walk up right there, except you can see we doubled up on those those notes right there. So we have G, G, A, B, C. So it's just a, a walk up without the C at the, at the beginning. C, G, A, B. We're just going to go G, G, A, B. So let's try just the left hand only if you're on level four uh, along with the track. And if you're not on level four, you just play your version right along with this. Here we go. And a one, two, ready, go. Man. Walk up right there, two G's, and then the walk up. Hang on to that one. And that is how the left hand goes. And uh <laughs> All right, so here we go. We're going to try to add in the right hand, maybe even a couple chord tones here, uh, and the, uh, the notes down here if we're on level four. Everybody else, uh, just take it easy. Do your thing. Here we go. And two, and one, two, ready, go. notes that are right there plus a couple extra uh, chord tones from the other page but uh, it's time for our feature yeah! <laughs> okay, we'll see how this goes uh, this might go a little better because uh, Nathan I need your help on this one actually you should have a bunch of cards there in front of you yeah. uh, that hopefully you haven't read already did you read them already no all right, fantastic. So we've had a bunch of questions there that we haven't gotten a chance to uh, answer in the broadcast because we only do one featured mailbag winner uh, each uh, week. So anyway, these people are all picking up an extra 50 points. Tell me who it is, what their question is, and I've got my bell right here. I'm going to try to answer them as quick as I can and move on so we can cram them all in to this one segment before Kloppel goes crazy with how much time we're taking. Ready, set, go. What is your favorite song to play from Gabriella? Uh... uh 
Whatever I'm currently working on. Currently, it's a, call, a song called Celia. What kind of piano should I buy from Zoe? Uh, this one right here is a P. Uh, it's a Yamaha P105. It works great for me. It's a keyboard, but uh, whenever you can get like a regular piano, like an upright piano that with like string actual strings in it, um, I always think that that's better. So, yeah. how long can I? How how long until I can move to level two from Avery? Uh, as soon as you feel like you're ready. If you uh, if you want to, you can just take a couple notes from level two. You don't have to do the entire level two thing. You can always just steal a couple notes from the level ahead of you to try to get ready for those next levels. How many Cloppo Academy levels are there? From Twelve. For, I'm sorry, from who? Hans Santiago. Hans Santiago. All right, cool. Thanks. Is, is there a Kids Learn Guitar Live? No, not yet. That'd be cool someday. I can't read some of the left-hand notes for level four, but level three is too easy. What do I do from Abby? Um, same thing. Uh, just, just steal a couple of the notes and not do all of them. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's a reaching problem? Uh... I can't reach some of the left-hand notes for can't level four. Can't reach. I thought you said read, and then it, it hit me. Yes, if you can't reach them, then always just play um, the if in the left hand. Always just play the bottom note of of the ones that are written, and don't worry about playing the top note. So just play all the bottom ones you can. It's opposite in the right hand. If you can't reach all the notes in the right hand, then just play whatever the top one is for two notes being played at the same time. Does Kloppel have any brothers or sisters? Uh, Kloppel, do you have any brothers or sisters? <laughs> 327. On the color contest, Kloppel is singing, but we never hear him sing. Is he a good singer? <laughs> Kloppel, are you a good singer? <laughs> okay, well, if you're so fantastic, sing us a song. <laughs> That's the problem. He always sings the exact same thing. That's all. <laughs> all right, cool. And that was our feature of the day. All right. Oh, I also have these books right here. Um, if you are looking at uh, maybe buying a, an acoustic piano or something like that, uh, you want to get one of these two books by uh, uh, Larry Fine is the name of the guy. Larry Fine. Um, anyway, those are really good books to like help you know because buying an acoustic piano is a really tough thing to do. But anyway, those books will help you know what to look for and how to test out a piano to know if it's uh, worth a lot of money or not. All right, let's level up. Transitioning to level five. This may be terrifying to lower levels. Please continue to practice your own level or visit learnpianolive.com slash level five for training on how to survive this level. Real quick here, uh, let's go to the PDF. I forgot to mention this, but this is our first week doing this. Uh, we are now doing uh, level 4B, which is the exact same thing as level four. Uh, but you, you know in level five, if you've been here before, you know we have this suggested key. Um, and so that's where we like talk about key changes and stuff like that. And some of you are like, hey, I'm on level four, but um, I want to um, I want to play it in the suggested key so I can play along with the, the final track. So anyway, that is what level 4B is. It's just the exact same thing, note for note, as level 4, but in the key that we're about to suggest here in level 5. And that key, in this case, is the key of D. So uh, the key of D looks like this, where uh, the most important note, number 1, is uh, not C, like we've been playing here for quite some time, but it is a D. So the key of D looks something like this, 1 and 2. Three, four, five, six. Watch out for that seven. It's it's up uh, on, on a black note, and then we got one again. So that's the pattern for um, the key of D. Now that just makes it a little bit easier to sing along with, because what we've been doing so far, maybe had a it's kind of hard to sing with. So anyway, if you move it up to the key of D, it'll be a little bit easier to sing with. But uh, everybody else is already uh, on in the key of C. So we're gonna go ahead and move to the key of C back if you would, thank you. And so now we're back to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, and then we're just gonna play these numbers here. Three, two, one, two, three, 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 two, 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 three, five, five. Three, two, one, two, three, 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 two, two, three, two, one, and that should be the whole entire thing. Let's try that um, along with the track. On your mark, get set, and here we go. And one, two, ready, go. Three. I 
course, um, if you've been here before for level five, you know that we also need to play the chords, which uh, a one chord is where you play the one and then every other note starting on the one. So that one, and then that one, that one. That's a one chord. And then a five chord would just be where we go from one, two, three, four, five. We go up to the five, we play every other note starting on the five. So that one, and that one, and that one. That's a five chord, so that's what we play during the five chord section. And uh, this all is the one chord section. That is the five chord section. This is the one chord section all the way through there till we get the five section, five chord section, and then we're back to the one chord. So let's try this one more time, only this time we're going to try to uh, play the chords in the left hand at the same time as we play the numbers in the right hand. Here we go. And a one, two, ready, go. I try anymore. Sorry. I said the right notes, but I was thinking about the five chord. I said the f anyway, you don't care. I just messed up. Anyway, let's check in with Bucket. Hey, Bucket, or Buck, could be Buck. There you go. Can you hear? Yes. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, last time you had it almost perfect, note for note. Uh, then I said maybe we'd add, add in a little bit of left hand. Did we do any of that? Not as much. Yes, you did a little bit. Okay, well, let's try this thing with a little bit of left hand. What levels do you want? One, two, three, four, three, level three. Here we go. I'll move back to the level three, and you can either um, play along with Bucket or um, just, just see how he or she does. On your mark, get set, and two, and a one, two, ready, go. Yeah, I have nothing to say about that. That was that was incredible. Uh, it is the end of uh, level five, which means that uh, next they are all wondering: Did I win the ten dollar gift card? Did you win the ten dollar gift card? Maybe it's bucket. Let's find out. Hey, it was Buck the whole time. It was Dalton. I think if you've seen him in the chat room, this is what his face looks like. Um, and uh, anyway, next week, uh, we'll be doing another fun song. Don't forget to show up for the music challenge every day. Pick up extra points that way. Send us your videos and stick around afterwards. I'll tell you how to pick up extra points. And fill out the survey at the end of the lesson. I love you. Bye. Hey, you're still here. Me too. Well, here's what needs to happen next. Uh, first of all, click on the survey button.
That uh, is probably like right over here. Maybe if you're on the iPad, it's like down here below the video. Anyway, it's right around there. Click on that, let us know how we did today. And also ask us any questions you might have about this lesson or about any other lesson. You might even be the mailbag winner if you include your name in that. Um, and then after that, you're gonna go to the music challenge, uh, which is a button probably right up here, up above the uh, video. And so uh, click on the music challenge. You can do, come back every single day and fill out the, uh, the code thing and get your points for, for doing that. So you got your music challenge thing to do after you do the survey. And then uh, after you've practiced the song up, then go to the, the one up here that says, right over here probably, student videos. Uh, and then take a video of yourself on your phone or your iPad or whatever, and then send us your video and uh, maybe it could even be the featured video and you get points for doing that. Um, and then if you have any questions, click the uh, contact button that's also up there somewhere. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, but click on that, let us know if you have any questions and uh, we'll see you back here next week. All right, thanks for joining us. It was a lot of fun. See ya.